Okay, so as a knife maker, you don't really need a MIG welder. I always thought welding was some kind of magical skill that you had to go to vocational school to learn. Nope, welders are freaking great. Even if you never make a knife, just being able to tell your buddies, hey, no prob, bring it over to my shop and I'll weld it for you. I mean, you get so many guy points for that, it's ridiculous. It's like playing in the NFL or something. I mean, the testosterone level in the room just shoots up when you can talk about welding. Anyway, in all seriousness, buying a MIG welder doesn't turn you into a pro welder. Nobody's going to hire me to weld high-pressure stainless pipe in a nuclear power plant, but still... Even being a real crap welder is still handy sometimes. The great thing about MIG welders is that if you spend 10 minutes reading about welding or watch a few videos on YouTube, you can figure out how to avoid the most grotesque mistakes and therefore how to make two pieces of steel more or less stick together. Here's the unit I own. Lincoln's the big name in welders and this welder, though it's compact and inexpensive, works great. I've known people who bought rock bottom priced welders and hated them. The main use for welders is in welding billets of steel together in Damascus forging. But a welder is one of those things that once you get it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. I love my welder. Sometimes I give it flowers. Just because I weld things doesn't mean I'm not sensitive. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, multiplayerblades.com, where you'll find the more comprehensive and complete version of all these cool videos that I've posted here on YouTube.